back to our YouTube channel. If you are watching this channel for the first time, do well to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, like, comment and share. Today we are looking at the qualitative aspect of 2025-2026 so Y chemistry practical. This year practical, the sample they give to us is glucose and copper solvates. We are asked to mix equal ratio of glucose and copper solvates together. And here I'm calling my sample sample B. Let's look at the likely test they may ask us to carry out on this experiment and look at the likely observation we are able to get and the inference we are able to get from our observation. Firstly, the first test that I think that they will ask us to do is the addition of distilled water to our sample D. So let's write a sample D plus distilled water. So let's look at our observation. First, let's mix our sample D together. This my copper solvate and this my glucose. And they are equal ratio. I'm trying to mix them together so I can add water to it. Let's add our water to our sample D and look at the observation we are going to see. In adding our water to it, these are 10 minutes of water that we are adding to our sample. We see that our sample D has dissolved inside the water, inside the water, the sea water. It has dissolved inside the sea water. Now, our observation is our sample D has dissolved to give a blue coloration. So, let's write our observation. Dissolve. So to give a blue solution. Let's go to our inference. Since our sample D has dissolved to give a blue solution, it means that our sample D is what is soluble. Our sample D is what is soluble. Sample D. Sample D is so that's our inference. Now the next likely test they may ask us for to do is to test our sample with litmus paper. So we have our two D papers plus litmus paper. So let's test our sample with litmus paper. This is our red litmus paper. This is our blue litmus paper. Let's test it with red litmus paper first. From our observation, we see that our sample does not have any effect on red litmus paper. Let's test it with blue litmus paper. With our blue litmus paper, we saw that our sample has turned our blue litmus paper to red. So we will come back to our observation. Turns blue litmus paper red. Now, from our inference, our inference was because for any to turn blue to the paper, it means that that solution is what? Acidic. Our inference is what? Solution is acidic. Or we say, some of this solution is an acidic solution. Now let's go to the next line question they may ask us to do from this our experiment. First thing, they may ask us to divide our sample D solution to two portions. Then from our two portions, we can now add some other reagent you may ask us to use to test for the sample. So let's divide our sample D into two portions. I think this is too much. Let me 
put it into another test tube. So let's add sodium exercise in drop and test it to our first portion and look at the observation. This is our sodium hydroxide. Let's add sodium hydroxide in drop and look at the observation. If you look at our observation, this is blue gelatinous was precipitate. It's blue and it's gelatinous. It's blue, it's gelatinous. Have you seen this? Yeah, we have blue gelatinous was precipitate. So let's add the SS and look at the observation also. You see, when we add the SS, we still have our Precipitates. You see our, our precipitates. So let's write our observation. Let's write our observation. First portion plus sodium hydroxide solution, AQ. In draw, in draw, we have blue gelatinous. Precipitate plus in excess, plus in excess. Our observation is still what? Still building has no specific. So we say insoluble in excess. Insoluble in excess. We still have the same thing. We still have the same observation. The solution still remain was insoluble after we have added sodium hydroxide in SS. Now, from our observation, the likely anion that can be inside the solution is what? Topaz plus. Because the, the um, color that is associated with what? Copper 2 anion is what? Is blue. So, our likely anion that ought to be inside this was uh, inside the solution is what? Is copper 2 plus. Copper 2 plus is likely present. Copper 2 plus is what? Likely present. Let's test our second portion with ammonia solution. This is our ammonia. Let's add, let me reduce my sample. So let's add our ammonia to our second portion in drop and this is our ammonia, this is our sample, this is our second portion of our sample D. Let's add ammonia in drop. From it, we, we see our observation, we have our light blue gelatinous water. Precipitate. So let's now add our ammonia in excess to it. You see, when we add ammonia in excess, it's what? Our precipitate dissolved to give us a deep blue coloration. That's our observation. So we add second portion plus ammonia in drop. What's our observation? We have light blue. Light blue gelatinous precipitate. Plus in excess, when we added in excess, our precipitate dissolve. Precipitate, precipitate dissolves to give deep blue coloration, deep blue solution. Our precipitate dissolves to give. Deep blue solution.
from our observation, the area that is present inside this our solution is copper ion. Our copper ion is confirmed. Our copper ion is confirmed. Our copper ion is confirmed because from our observation, it's only copper that will give us this word observation. So our copper ion is confirmed. Let's move to the next question and look at the likely question they may ask from us. Let's move to the next likely question they may ask us from this experiment. They may ask us to add to another portion of sample D our barium chloride and let's add our barium chloride to our sample D. This is our sample D. We want to add barium chloride. This is our barium chloride. And let's look at the observation. See, when we add barium chloride, see we have our white gelatinous, we have our white precipitate. These are white precipitates. When we add it with barium chloride. The aqueous plus barium chloride. Our solution, white precipitates. White precipitates. And anytime you add barium chloride to any sample and it gives you white precipitate, the likely anion that can be inside that sample is our CO2 2 minus or S for two minus or S for two minus or S two minus. These are likely ion that can be present inside the solution that give us white precipitate with what barium chloride. Now another another thing they can ask us to do is to add dilute HCl to add dilute HCl to that our sample. So we want to add dilute HCl. This is our dilute HCl. We want to add it to our sample. This is our sample that we have gotten. When we added our dilute HCl, we have our white precipitates remain insoluble. Our white precipitates was remain insoluble. When we add our HCl, we have Precipitates insoluble. Our precipitate was remain insoluble. Now, when we added ACL, the likely anion that can give us this observation is SO42 minus. Because when we add ACL, if the precipitate dissolves, the likely anion can be CO32 minus or SO32 minus. But when the precipitate remains insoluble, after adding our ACL, the likely anion that, that is present and that will confirm is what? SO42 minus. So our, our anion present inside the solution is SO42 minus. SO42 minus is confirmed. So we have confirmed SO42 minus. Uh, as the anion present inside this solution by adding dilute ACL. Let's move to the next question you may likely ask us in this experiment. Now let's move to the, the next likely question you may ask from this experiment. You may ask us to add any solution to any solution A to our sample. And if we add, we have our DA chaos plus any solution. Any solution. A. And they ask us to also eat it. Anytime they ask us to add any solution to our sample, what do you want to get out? What do you want to test out? What test out? What test out? What we want to test for a reducing sugar. That's what we want to test for. We want to test for a reducing sugar. And anytime we, we, we ask any solution to our sample, our 
our observation is going to be big red. We are going to have a big red precipitate. Precipitate. Big red precipitate. And our likely our anion that is that will be present is what? Is glucose. Glucose with our reducing sugar. Is present. So the uh, our influence is what is glucose because anytime we are adding a solution A to the substance and we warm it or we say we eat it, what we want to test for is what our intuition gap, which is what which is glucose. And the observation that we are going to have is big red precipitate. This has bring us to the end of the qualitative analysis for our 2025 to 2026 white uh, chemistry classical for this year. If you have really enjoyed this class and you also enjoy more of our classes that will still be happening on this YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, like, comment, and share. Thank you.